we share in common. Also, the idea of children accepting the sins of the forefathers, because it's mentioned in the same verses, same context, that this sin has to be passed forward. We also don't have that. We have a clear statement. Everything in Arabic, in the Quran, this is what you can look at and analyze. We're not allowed to analyze translation because all you're trying to do is analyze the interpreter. But we go back to the Arabic and we see, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما تسبت. This is toward the very end of the chapter two, um, Surah Baqarah. And what we understand from this is that Allah tells us that he is not laying a burden on anybody more than they can bear. And nobody carries the burden of somebody else. This is real clear. So that each of the individuals is on their own. I'm responsible for what I do in front of Allah. And you're responsible for what you do in front of your Lord. This is how Islam is explaining that. And each and every person must accept responsibility for their actions and they must face the consequences. And all of us, I'm going to be general about this and talk about something in Islam in general just for a minute, but all of us on the day of judgment, if we had to pay for all of our sins, well, nobody could go to paradise. It wouldn't be possible. But that is why Allah reminds us again and again and again throughout the Quran and in fact in the beginning of 113 chapters of the Quran you see this expression Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim and many times in the Quran Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Ar-Rahim and it says it again and again and again and what does that mean? Again we'll go back to the word I told you where you're conceived in mercy and it's the same word from Rahama. It means Allah is so merciful, so benevolent, so beneficent, and so forgiving. He really is. So because of that, we also know that the one who tried their best, really tried their best, believing in him as one God, that he will forgive them. We do get some punishment, even in this life but they wouldn't get the big punishment of having to dwell in hellfire forever. 